Francois, you've got experience against New Zealand as a 1995 World Cup winner against the All Blacks in South Africa on home soil, winning the World Cup. Just how special was that recent victory for the Springboks against New Zealand in New Zealand? It was incredibly special. I think mainly for the players first, because I always think about their families sitting back home. They were under tremendous pressure, given that we've just lost to Argentina and we've lost uh, to Australia. And the, the doomsayers were not giving us a big chance. So you saw the scenes after the game and I really felt for them. I felt for them and their families because when you play, nobody plays to lose. Everybody plays to make their country proud. And they just needed a break. You know, in the end, um, I was a little bit frustrated with some of the decisions that were made. Uh, and they hung in and they showed guts. And that just gets a nation going. They showed guts and resilience and pride and passion. So there's a nice platform to build on from there. That victory is in the rearview mirror now against New Zealand, but how does South Africa actually build the momentum from that win? They've given themselves a perfect chance to go and win in New Zealand against the odds uh, after back-to-back -back defeats. Um, coming back home, the platform is there for them to take it to the next level. Uh, and I hope they do take that because it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity now, just before the World Cup, to get in your mind that belief that you can do something extraordinary. Playing at home is always really special. There's some leadership that's developing in the side that I like. I see that there's a, a core of young leaders standing up. Playing at home, I had the privilege to do that, can add pressure too. The fact that you think you're playing at home, you've got all the support, can also add to the pressure. So it's how you manage that in leading up to the game and playing the game. Um, but I love pressure. You know, sport is about pressure. If you don't love it, don't play the game. Uh, it's about thriving in that environment that, that's going to make you uh, win or lose. You've got a lot of experience as a captain for the Springboks. What do you make of the early days of Sia Khaleesi's leadership? We, uh, the Pinar family, we're big Khaleesi fans. We've been shouting for him when he played here as a young kid. And he's just uh, incredible. To have the first ever black captain to win in New Zealand, how cool is that? Um, he's a role model. He's, um, he's, he's almost shy in a sense, but he's strong. Why do I say shy? He's, he's, he's calculated in what he says. He's thoughtful. And then I also look at him off the field and what he does. Um, and that's, that's a, he's, he's got special leadership char characteristics. Are there any other young prospects that really impressed you in the Springbok team in the last few months? A uh, host. You know, the young guys are coming through. Um, I don't want to single out a name because it's unfair. I always say that it's a team game. To single out one or two is just wrong. Um, there will be players in the team that's better than the others. It's how you gel together that's going to make you world beaters. It always is and always will be. In every team that you play, there would be guys that uh, need to finish and, and, and need to score when they get the opportunity. And there's guys that have got to do the hard work to, get them, to give them that opportunity. So you've got to look at it as a whole, not, not as an individual context. The World Cup's just around the corner. How do you think it's going to go for South Africa? No, I would say the World Cup is a four-month project. You know, people say, I'm building for the World Cup four years out. I don't believe in that. You know, <laughs> players change, injuries come, new players come in. It's a four-month project. Uh, what you do want is a core team of players that know how to win. You can't go into the World Cup if you just don't know how to win. I'm quite amazed that, you know, because there's a passion for sport, people going into a, a competition, they say, yeah, we're going to win. There's got to be certain building blocks that's going to allow you to have a chance. And uh, knowing how to win, knowing how to close a game down, knowing how to manage the variables and the margins is vitally important in winning a World Cup. Francois Pinar, absolutely appreciate your time. Thank you for talking to us.